Hey guys, Mark here again. Hey, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I thought I'd do a quick video. I don't know, maybe some of you guys will find this interesting, but I ordered a bunch of tire sizes because I've been playing around a lot with uh, experimenting with different size tires and you know how they affect the performance of the car. And I ordered several different sizes. I thought I'd show you guys on the downforce meter how just changing the diameter of the tire um, can really affect the downforce. So rather than putting new mag stronger magnets in your car, you can just lower the car down with different size tires. Um, and there seems to be two ways, although um, what seems to be the more popular method in the club scene, club racing scene, is now the tires come in one size and you change the diameter by using different size hubs. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute. Um, but Viper does still sell different size tires. So I bought 0 0.436, 434, and down to 432. This here is 438, so I have that size as well. And I thought I'd show you on my uh, Pro 4 Spec Racer car and also a higher Neo car how the tire size really makes a difference. Um, so Viper sells their standard hub is 0 0.250. And then if you put these tires on a 250 hub, you're supposed to get the 0.436 size. So these are sized for a 250 hub. And if you look, it's pretty close. Um, it's, it's a little tight to me. It's, I think there's a little bit of a tolerance. It does go through 438 pretty easily. So it is closer to a, a 436. This is a 434, also on the same 0.25 hub. And 432. So you can see how this goes right through the 434. We're down 432. So if you own a bunch of Vipers with the standard Viper rear, these are all standard Viper rear axle setups with the 0 0.250 hubs, you can just buy from Viper different diameter tires to raise up and lower the car from the, from the rails. Um, and you do have to be aware of that. Obviously, the lower you go, the closer you get to rubbing on the rails. It could have a negative impact on the performance of the car. Um, so in the club racing scene, scene, it seems to be get as low as you can go till you're actually rubbing on the rails. So, um, but I thought I'd show you starting with the 0.438. We'll do some measurements on the downforce meter. So with 0.438, we're pulling about a 139. Depending on where you are on this meter, it does make a difference. You get really close to the bar there. I'm going to put them all as close to the bar as possible for consistency. 436 when it's snug up against that bar. And then if we go to the 436 tire, see we're, we're already up to a 145. What did I say we were at on this other one? Oh my god, my memory is that bad. I can't even remember. Yeah, 130, 139. So we're in the 130s, then the 140s. Let's see what the 434 does for us. 149. Yeah, around 149. Not a huge difference, but still. And let's see if we go down to the 432. And 152. So we went from 130 
something with the 438 all the way up to uh, one in the 150s. So that's a, a pretty good little jump in, in downforce. Um, and your stock Viper, if you buy like a V-Spec, that comes with even wider tires. I think they're like a, a 440 or 442. So you're going to have even less downforce. Um, actually, I could show you one. All right, I took all the axles out of those, so hold on a second. All right, so this is a stock um, V-Spec rear end with stock tires. And let's see. Let's see what they're coming in at. I think it's, like I said, a, yeah, like a 440, 442, somewhere around there. Let's see what this rear end. Yeah, look, that that's only pulling like a little over a hundred. So just just changing out this rear end to the the lower four thirty two. Let's see what this gains us. One twenty. One twenty two. It's interesting. Oh, the front tires make a, a difference as well. I, you know, I guess I should point that out. This, these have a front tires that are higher because these are the same magnet package, the Maxi Traction Proform Motor uh, and Proform Motor and Maxi Traction Pro 4 Traction Magnets. So this car has uh, 0.340 front end combined with this lower rear end we're all the way up to 150 so that's a big difference putting this in the this front end is 0 0.350 i believe so just having the front also off yeah look at that 124 and you could see a lot more daylight under there because of the front the higher front tires so not only the rear tires but i guess i should point that out that the front tires make quite a difference as well i like to try and get my cars as level as possible between the front and rear tires so if you look at this thing's this thing's pretty darn low it's almost it is t touching with these 432s yeah i don't generally run that low on my home track the 436 is pretty good on my tra on my Viper track, even 438. Obviously, yeah, you, see, you can see a lot more daylight under there now. And it's all how you like to race. Obviously, the lower you go, the more downforce, the easier it's going to be to drive. So if you want it to be more challenging, then maybe don't set your cars up with such a, a low-profile tire. But when you're racing competitively, you want every advantage that you can get. So... You go as low as you can go. Now, the other setup I was talking about. So this is a standard Viper 250 hub. And this is a, I think this is a RPMs 260. So this is a little bit bigger hub. But these are the same purple RPM medium tires. And on this 250, this comes in at like a, a 422, pretty low. 422, 420, 422. You go up to a 0.36, you can even see that how wide, much wider the tire looks. And, and now you're up to like a 432. Yeah, 430, 432. It's like a 0 0.01 difference. 432 to 422. So that's kind of how the uh, hobby is going as far as the competitive club scene with, with the tires you get from RPMs or, or other places. It's just one size tire, and you have to set up different rear size diameter hubs to change the height of the tire. So whether you want to go the 
the route of um, different size tires, like you can still do with Viper um, or HC slots, sells different size tires, or you can go with the different size hubs and one size tire. Um, now, on my really high downforce cars, I run even a wider. This is a 0 0.275 because I just, you know, these magnets are so strong. These are Neo, level 35 Neo. I'm sorry, that's the wrong car. This one. Um, but you can see a drastic difference when you go lower with these magnets. This is already pulling like. 270 something and if i go all the way down with a much lower profile like these two three four three twos this thing's at up to 350 now really really strong so and I'm, i mean i can't even barely get this thing off here it's so strong being that low i would not want to run these cars that low on my track they would do a number on my rails <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, you know, I'm not going to run all these cars, but you can trust me when I say the, the lower you go, the stronger the downforce, obviously it makes more sense that the car is going to handle or come off less, but you, you want to try and find that, that good medium area where you get really good, good enough downforce, good handling that you want, but also the speed that you want. So it's a lot of trial and error. It's a lot of you know, putting the different size tires on, running some laps, seeing how you do. And um, just a lot of experimenting until you find the sizes that work for you. And depending on the track you race, it may be different conditions depending on the rail heights and things like that. So um, anyway, that's it. Just wanted to share some of that with you that I've been playing around with. And I will say on my track, I do like the... 0 0.340 front end with either the 436 or the 434 really gives you really good performance. Uh, 434 is getting a little low. You could hear it kind of dragging on the rails. 436 is good. Even 438, it's a little less downforce, a little more of a challenge. But, yeah, again, depends on your style of racing and what you're looking for. So... Anyway, I hope you guys found this interesting and a little helpful and maybe you'll want to experiment with some, some different size tires and see how it affects the performance of your cars. All right, guys, we'll talk with you all soon. I hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving and take care.